one owner car guy and what I got here for you today is a beautiful one owner 1994 Ford Aerostar XLT with the electronic four wheel drive. These are getting to be quite the rare vehicle these days, uh, especially in condition like this, cared for like this. Oh, there went my little strap off the fence. But you just don't find anything this clean that's as old, let alone nice Aerostar vans um, in the four wheel drive. Most unique thing about this van, it's only got 42,000 original miles. Absolutely beautiful. Just nice as the day is long. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and go around and show you the van. Show you a close up and anything wrong with it. My voice is totally going, so I hope you can hear me. Um, Nathan, 406-544-6919. I'm gonna show you the underneath before I do anything to where I don't lose the light. Um, come on, low level light adjustment, let's go. There we go. Clean as can be up in here. And we just washed off the uh, motor and the tires and wheels. And because we drove through dirt and they look, you can see it on it still. We got dirt all over our tires. This sucks. Let me show you the rest of the underneath. All the tranny and the transfer case and everything on this. Oh man. And I'm on the wrong side to show you. Don't that figure? Let's show you up in here. I hate to say like new on anything. I just do. I hate it. I'm not gonna, I said it kind of, but this car, truck, van is as close to like new as you're gonna find anywhere. If you watch my channel much, you know I like titties. Titties on tires. This one has titties on the spare. The spare ain't even been on the road. I wonder. I'm gonna make sure. I'll make sure that's like it's supposed to be. Ding right there, by the way. But like I say, I wanna show you underneath this bad boy. Before it gets too loud. Look at that tranny pan. <whistles> Serious. Clean as can be. This, look at that. Stickers on everything. My God, it's clean. I mean, that's all there is to it. So, if you're looking for an Aerostar, a little bit of dust right there. If you're looking for an Aerostar, this is it. Pretty as can be. Royal blue. I wish I knew the color, name, or model that they would use. And, well, that's that. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Check out a lot of stuff I have on there. Check out my other videos on this channel. I've got over 650 of them on here. I'm going to go ahead and do something even different now. Show you the interior next. Like I say, I don't want to lose my light. Man, the like new word is just on my tip of my tongue here. I mean, it's just there. I don't know. I want to say it. But it's obviously not. It's almost 20 years old. This thing's almost a classic. <clears throat> Look at this. My God. It's like going to the Ford dealership in 1995. And say like, oh, we got this one year old one here. The guy drove it a lot, so it's got 42,000 on it, you know. Power, everything. I love when they had these blue and red buttons on everything. Cool stuff. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, it's a 96, I'm sorry. I said 94. And I knew it was a 96 because it's a last year model. 
I'm almost positive. No, it's not, is it? They made him a few more years. I don't know if they made him a few more years with the electronic four-wheel drive. I'm not sure. Somebody does. No. There's all your books. Books, books, books. I like stuff with books. I come to buy your car and show up at your house. It is probably going to be a selling point if you got the books. Now, no, I am not hiding anything here. I should make sure and show you. I'll throw them on the floor and forget to show you the floor. Carpet's beautiful. I do not have the mat for it. But look at this. Seats are as nice as it could possibly get. Put your cassette tapes in there. Oh, it's got the cassette tape player too. That's right. Okay. I'm going to hop up here. Look, I got footprints on my nice black stuff there. Let's hop up in here. Oh, pull up cup holder. Oh, yeah, baby. We don't do the big shampoo jobs on stuff, but this thing hardly needs any type of thing like that. I'll show you the odometer here in a second. Till then, you just have to take my word for it. Ah. Breeder in there, running around, playing with her piggy. Got the rear controls for everything. Rear, rear air. Little outlets here for it. Very comfortable van. Fit seven, eight people in it. Legally. Not legally, you can fit all kinds of them. Headliners, just. God, I don't want to say perfect either. I mean, but I don't see anything wrong with it. So. Doors open and close beautifully. Look at down the sides of this thing. Absolutely beautiful. Nathan 406 544 6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. If I'm not up, I won't answer. And I'll just call you back in the morning. www.oneownercarguy.com. <clears throat> Make sure and check that out. I got 60 to 100 pictures of each one that I put on there. God, I hope that's my thumbnail. Look, you see the line of the next door there. Okay. I'll show you in this side. Little fingerprints on it there. Oh. The little plastic clips right here. One, two, three, four. I would say four or so of them need to be, maybe six need to be redone rattles on the bottom. Um, <laughs> lumbar seats. Don't know if you can see that work. 96. Okay. <clears throat> Once around. Twice around. Now I'll show you the damage. Any damage. And then we'll go for the test drive. And I'm here to tell you, I got lots and lots of stuff. In fact, just came in 38,000 miles. Look at the vet, too. I was talking about the olds. The vet's nice. And let's go on up and show you anything that it needs. It needs nothing. Wow, think about that. It really don't. I just want to be up front and show you. Now, my hands are dirty. They're always dirty. And we'll stuff tiny right there. A couple of little chips right there. A couple of ones right on this thing. Seems like maybe he banged it on the garage. Some little chips right there. And one right there. <clears throat> now what I forgot. Excuse me. Because I forgot to get the key out. To open this up. And 
show you the back. Uh oh. There we go. Just gotta open it the right way, huh? Pop that seat out whenever you want. Not only that, plenty of luggage room behind it. Little compartments here. That piece kind of slipped right there, just a tad. Jack tool kit and stuff. A lot of little compartments back here. So you could take the back seat out. You could take the center seat out. You could basically take any seat out or in or whatever you want. You could take the driver's seat out. You could take them all out. I don't know why. Oh, I gotta show you this. A couple little scratches there. One right there, right there, a little thing right there. You know, just some miscellaneous little things. Beautiful van. <clears throat> Going down the side, got Firestone tires. And yeah, they're in great condition. Uh, wheel wells and stuff still got the original factory undercoating on them. You got some armor all specs there on some stuff. But this thing is clean, clean, clean. And you can see even on this stuff how clean it is. A little dust. But you can see like there back there. It's got the blue overspray type stuff from where we were, where the um, they painted the truck originally back at the factory. So you still got factory paint on um, the uh, undercarriage and stuff. Um, little gouge thing right there, line in it, slight. You can hardly see it, but I just like to be totally up front with any of this stuff and show you what we've got. <clears throat> um, ski rack? Is that what you call that? I think it is. Is it a ski rack? Or a luggage rack? I don't know. Something like that. It's in good shape. Oh, a little scratch right there on the door. Tiny bit of dry rot on the side of the tires. Just a tiny bit. There's what I'm talking about. Look at this. It's just the fogged in regular old stuff from the original paint. Um, you can tell just how, oh come on, low light level adjustment. Just how fresh this truck is. I mean, it's fresh. And okay, it's not a truck, it's a van, I know. You wouldn't think so, but I knew. Keep calling it other stuff. Even got this piece still. Think about that. That piece usually knocked off all of them. Little brush right there. That's just a extra water, but that right there is a little scuff. <clears throat> Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. Once around, twice around, I've went all around. I've showed you the back, I've showed you the front. I'm gonna show you under the hood while it's still light enough. Look at this, look at this. I mean, I'm serious. Good luck finding something that clean. Look at the throttle body on that thing. I mean, this is one of the cleanest cars that I have ever had. Plain, plain and simple. The ones I bought new were about this clean, but still got stickers on everything. Got an interstate battery in it. Yep. Big old 4.0 V6. Got me a fingerprint on it. 4.0 V6, a great motor. I had a Ranger STX with that motor. I absolutely loved that truck. Straight piped it and lifted it. And, woo. 
bought it brand new and lost all kinds of money. If I'd have known I could have bought something used like this and been just as happy, I would have not done it because I was a kid and I had to have what was cool, have something new. Enough about my old Ford days where I paid huge money more than this for something that just wasn't as cool. Okay. Overdrive transmission. Oh yeah, there you go. 42,596. Excuse me. Come on now. I AC is ice cold. Rear air and all that. You can't feel it, but you can hear it up there. All your mirror controls are good. <coughs> oh yeah. Cup holders and stuff. Cup holders are very important in a car like this. I think. I mean, you do need cup holders and why not have them? Uh, it's right at that year where you can have them. You know, I just don't know if I can get that, so we won't even chance it in this. The steering wheel still squeaks when you Oh, I love that 280 SC. 46 Ford Super Coupe there. Okay, here we go. Man, you gotta let off of it. You're right up to 40, and that power band's a little bit more serious and can keep going. I mean, that's just power in a bottle right there, buddy. Serious. I mean, it breaks like right now. You just barely, barely step. Out. I hate this light. Oh no, and I can't see whether it's green. That's the photo enforcement light. All wheel drive. Yeah, baby. Firebird formula. Well, we gave you all the drive arounds and stuff and showed you the interior, showed you all the exterior. <coughs> Honk the horn. That <laughs> sounds like new. Uh, a little sticker in the window there. This thing is a driving machine. You know that wheel is just off a tad. That's straight. That's why I gotta keep drifting like that, because it's off a little tad. God, the car feels new. The van. That's barely putting the putting the throttle down just in the least amount. A little 500 SEL W126. I sell a lot of them. I really like a W126. I like this little area here too. So I can get on it and get up to 30 real quick for you. And show you a little bit of something about it. That's a big curb coming in here. Okay. Beautiful one owner. 42,597 on the nose. With the O. What kind of numbers is that? I'll bet you can't pick the O for lottery, can you? Let's see, that should be my lot of numbers. 70. No, it don't go that high, does it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to write that down and figure it out. Well, 
We're done. We've taken you around the car. We've showed you everything. Well, that cut me off right at 20 minutes, right as I was getting out of the van. Um, so, figured I'd give you a quick outro or whatever you want to call it here. My name is Nathan again. It's 406 544 6919. And just Nathan's fine. You don't have to say Nathan again. And other than that, I can't think of anything I didn't show you on this beautiful van. I can't think of nothing I didn't tell you about this van. It's the van if you're looking for a van like this. If you're looking for a van like this, there ain't another van like this. And ain't ain't a word, but it is here today because there ain't another van like this. When you've got something that there ain't another one of, you can make up words and talk about words that don't exist. That's my firm belief. Now, if you're a school teacher and you're looking for this van, I will recant that if you're wanting to buy it. No problem. But <laughs> other than that, can't think of anything else. I like to go around them again at the end and kind of see if I can remember anything about it that I didn't say or do anything that I didn't do like right here. I don't want there to be any questions in your mind. You are looking from a long ways away. Now I have footprints on there. I'm gonna have to live with that. That'll be my that'll be my thumbnail now, the footprints. Nice tinted mirrorized like um, tint on the rears. Fronts have none, so it should be legal anywhere. Don't know how it is when you get out of USA, but you can't have the fronts done here. <laughs> just I wish I could relay to you just how clean this van is. I can't. There's no possible way for me to make you understand how clean this van is. It's clean. Okay, import, export, I'll ship this to any port, no problem. Um, Rotterdam and Bremerhaven in Germany, they run about $12.95 to $14.95, and they're going to pop you for an extra hundred or so, because um, it's a van and not a car. Ooh, dog, I like that car back there. And you know what, Ford fans, got that 46 Super Coupe, and also I've got Three Chevy G20s on there right now, and um, lots of vans. Well, that's everything. I ain't got nothing else to say. Sorry to bore you. I'll tell you what, though, I got cars coming up like crazy on this channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're checking back. In fact, you should flip back through my channel. The last videos there, I have uploaded like 10, 15 videos in the last week, week and a half some very unique stuff and not only that I get past them by like six videos and then I'll, I'll publish one that was like from way before so you might miss something check it out lots of cool stuff if you're not subscribed you're missing out on lots of stuff like this every month every day every hour there could be something showing up in your email right now and you don't have it the perfect car you want and you're not hearing about it because you're not a subscriber to me one owner car guy on cereal marshmallows Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I gotta get over and get my tab there. My mouth is dry. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.